ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹவு டு கன்வெர்ட் அ போஸ்ட் மேன் ஏபிஐ டெஸ்ட் அர் போஸ்ட் மேன் ஏபிஐ ரெக்வஸ்ட் டு ஜேமி டெஸ்ட் ஸ்கிரிப்ட் ஃபார் லோட் டெஸ்டிங் ஸோ பிஃபோர் வி மூவ் ஆன் டு த வீடியோ திஸ் இஸ் மீ ஏ வசந்த் சண்முகம் ஐ ரெக்வஸ்ட் யூ ஆல் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் நாட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் யட் like comment your questions and feedback in the comment section so we all know postman is a widely used tool for api testing the testers discover the endpoints they make requests and create test data run regression testing and the implement continuous integration of api testing by using multiple tools however postman has certain testing limitations the developers devops and qa engineers who want to gain more load testing abilities can convert their postman test to jmeter so in this video i will explain how to convert the postman script to jmeter step by step so before we move on to see how are we going to convert a J, uh, postman script to jmeter we will see what are all the limitations or why do we need to go to jmeter although we have a tool like postman postman tests or the scripts in postman does not have the capacity to scale if we have many requests in our collection postman will be executing them with one thread and sequen and sequentially one after the other instead of running them with multiple threads say for example when we want to run a test in postman we can run the test with one user but when we migrate or when we move the script to a tool like a jmeter or a neo load we can have multiple threads so in that scenario performance well, sorry the postman is not suitable for api performance testing due to scalability limitations so the performance testing requires running tests with multiple threads at the same time to check that our system does not break under heavy loads so first let's see how to keep the system ready for testing so we need the postman tool and then the jmeter tool for integrating or to convert the postman script to jmeter so first let's go to jmeter and let's set that tool for integrating with jmeter so as part of this so let me create a notepad file and then i'll just show it to you so the first step is to set up jmeter for recording and as part of this we'll go to jmeter and under jmeter under the file menu let's choose the templates and under templates i'm choosing the recording as the option and i'm clicking on create and again there's nothing much to change so again i'm going and clicking on the create button so now we can see i have a test plan created and this is going to be a recording plan so now let's go to the postman tool for recording so the step to set up postman for recording so what are we going to do in postman so to integrate jmeter and postman the first step to do is to integrate or to upload the jmeter certificate so we all know in jmeter we have the apache jmeter certificate which we will use as a certificate a self signed certificate that allows jmeter to de- decrypt any http https request and that will begin and that will be inside the bin folder so to integrate that we'll have to go to the settings so under settings go to certificates under certificates under the ca certificates let's 
make it to on and then we get this option enable so until you ena disable this we can't see this option so only when we enable this we get this option to upload the file which is in the PEM format and then when I click on select file I go to the bin folder of my JMeter and under that I have the Apache JMeter temporary root CA certificate and when I click on open the certificate is loaded here so this is the first step and then the second step is going to the proxy and under proxy I have to set up the add a custom proxy configuration and then the proxy server is going to be localhost and the port number is going to be 8888 so for example you can see here so when I enable this I have the same port settings here so this same port setting should be there in the postman so that is all about setting up the certificates and then the proxy so choose HTTP and HTTPS in case if we are recording any HTTP or HTTPS scripts automatically they will be recorded and set up the local host as the server and then double it double it as the port number so now let's start recording our script let's close it then I'm going back to the get request then let me open the JMeter first let me clear everything and let me click on start clicking on OK and now I am keeping the name as 01 underscore get underscore request then I'm opening the postman tool under postman tool I'm just clicking on send this will send the request and now let's record the second request which is the post request I'm going to the post request which I have already created in one of our previous video you have seen how to create a get request and a post request and here I'm clicking on send again so the request is sent and now let's stop the recording and now let's go back to the JMeter so I've stopped the recording and here you can see the get request has been created and this is the URL so the only thing which we need to add is I'm, I'm supposed to add the HTTPS protocol here the server name has come correctly so here we can see so this is the URL the HTTPS JSON placeholder dot type code dot com and then the post one and this is a get request that's been recorded here then let's go to the post request so under post request here we can see so even the body data has been recorded so the only thing that we did is we just integrated postman and the jmeter and with any pane we have just click on send and automatically the request has been recorded in jmeter so let's do a quick check of these request for that i'm clicking on the run button let's save this script just saving it overwrite and now let's run the test and see how does it work so I'm clicking on the run button and here we can see the get request with the response data this is the response of the get request and here this is the request this is the response of the post request so with that we come to an end so just a quick recap so what did we do so in the first step is we have created or we have did the setup for jmeter by creating a test plan so without a test plan we will not be able to create any script so we just created a test plan and then under the test script recorder we have set up the port number as double eight double eight and then we went back to the postman so in postman we'll have to import the certificate under the certificates and then we have switched it on switch the C certificates on and we have imported the certificate and under proxy we have added the proxy which is the local host and then the double eight double eight and after that we have come here and the third step which we did is we clicked on we, we chose whatever request we need so choose the request and 
click send so by doing this we have successfully created a request and any number of requests it's it's just a matter of a seconds so just make sure so before we run it so just make sure that the postman request has to be a valid one if it is not a valid one automatically this will fail so just before we record any script just make sure you run the scripts and see and just check whether it is working fine and once it is working fine automatically we can create any number of scripts in just a fraction of seconds so with that we come to an end i believe this video would have been very useful to you so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from us and shanmugam and let's law